I, I always thought when I was here in Canada that I didn't belong. And then when I went to Korea, I thought this was the opportunity for me to fully belong, but then I realized how Canadian um, I was by living there. I moved to Canada in 2013. I came to Canada when I was two years old. I was born and raised in Vancouver, BC. Technically, I guess I'm, I'm second generation, but I'm kind of fourth generation, just because of the laws regarding Chinese immigration, basically prohibiting Chinese people from immigrating for a good chunk of, of time. I was born in Korea del Sud, and I was adopted by the Français who came to live in Quebec. Of course, there was this um, the ethnic conflict, and in 1983, July was the famous um, riots that took place, and it was at that point that um, my family left uh, left Sri Lanka. You know, I think having that having that awareness of being different in, in in some way was something that I think it was more in the background, more unconscious. As a person of Asian origin, as a person of Indian origin, I think I think it's important for me to be able to express that identity in multiple ways. I, I think because we were always seen as as sort of model minority. We benefited from that in a lot of ways too, but that uh, kind of 180 that was happening where there was suddenly this really kind of hostile, violent reaction against us. And we've seen a huge increase in, in hatred directed towards Asians. I feel like I was kind of fortunate to just have art making as a, an outlet because I ended up using drawing as a way to just kind of cope. The fact that all of these movements are coming to light indicates that we as a society have a, a lot more to do in terms of listening to each other. It was really a time of reading and listening. It's like at certain points, it's one of the more hopeful um, things for me. What we wanted to do with Project Someone is two things. Sensitize the public to the ill effects of hate, but also build spaces for pluralism, build spaces for dialogue. Making, making technology or innovation more inclusive, more diverse for society. It's kind of what my master's is about. Education is really about challenging yourself to do and learn things that you might not have otherwise considered. There are multiple barriers when it comes to university education. To get here is, is very hard, but for me it was, it was really worth it. I wish to thank everyone who's come before me the Asian people day-to-day -day kind of pushing forward, opening doors for, for, for others, right? Or, or setting the example for the next generation or showing what's, po what's possible. I'd also like to thank the, the future generation for continuing that path so that the entirety of society benefits.